social menaces, what influences these ills? We've been shouting the young child grow for ages now, and it may seem as though they are finally growing. But growing into what? Young boys are joining gangs and cults for power. They are doing yahoo and robbing people for money, and they spend over 18 hours a day high on illegal substances. The girls, on the other hand, are so happy to show off their bodies. Girls as young as 15 years old are now going clubbing with men older than their fathers. They fix their long nails, their lashes, put on indecent dresses, and go to club to smoke weed and get high with men as old as their grandparents. How do we cope these menaces in this society? What's influencing these younger ones to do this? Wow, that was quick. <laughs> anyway, um, yes. um, for me, I think uh, so the society generally is just um, it's a reflection of who exactly we are. So um, the older ones, which kind, kind of look at it and say the younger ones are bad, but if you really look at the kind of lifestyle we are living, you're going to ask yourself the question that, uh, of course, what, all, what mentorship do these younger ones have to follow? We, of course, have driven something that um, Nigeria basically is about who has the largest pockets. We're basically, it's, we judge people based on wallets. You walk into a room, whether they're 60 year olds or they're 20 year olds, everybody's looking at what car you came with. What, in short, even as a politician, if you, walk into, if you walk into a room and say, look, you know what, I want to run for Senate, you look at you and be like, you don't have structure. The truth is, what they meant by, mean by structure is that you didn't come with a G class and like 16 aids and we've, we've built that system. And because we've built that, the younger ones to have learned to understand that that is how things should be. Now, if, you, if your vice is money and you're thinking about money, you'll do anything for it. So the, like you mentioned, these young girls go to clubs and they get to uh, mess with hard substances. And this is all because they have to look cool to the people that can give them money. So it's a reflection of what we're actually doing that's translating down to the board. Right. I'm going to quickly speak on that before um, you guys do. Because I was outside, I was very much outside this uh, festive period. And um, uh, I'm grown, grown, grown. And I go out with my friends. I don't take alcohol. I don't use substances. And then I go out with my friends and I'm seeing 15 years old girls, like very young girls, sitting down on the table with grown men. Men... <laughs> that are grown for even me myself grown men and they are trying to like be cool and they are saying like yeah pass the weed to the men should pass the weed to them they are taking the weed and then they are taking alcohol and it's like you see like you want to look cool you want to act grown you want to be like what's what's the thing what's the thing influencing this attitude and you get like some of these girls go to like very proper school the good schools and i don't want to mention name of schools here but they go to proper school that means they are from a decent family that can provide for them so what are they doing outside in this type of circle doing our drugs substance abuse and rolling with grown men like the innocence is gone the innocence is leaving wait, wait i need to ask you a question at this point are you trying to blame the men for it <laughs> no, uh, no this is not a conversation let me come here this is the not that conversation is, um, i think i understand if you her. she's coming from a value point of view uh, you know this is what is the societal value that's what you said uh, let me give you an example we in this country we've had situation where a taxi driver or even people in the airport return how much a huge amount of money hard currency back to the owner like i remember in 2009 if i'm not mistaken i was watching tv and they talked about a road safety official that was that intercepted or that yeah that intercepted the vehicle that had an accident the man was traveling from lagos to the east he was driving alone on the way the car was assaulted he died in the process he went there and tried to recover the body and then the properties and he saw fifty thousand dollar cash at the truck of the vehicle but he was able to hand over that money in fact we watched it when he handed over that money to the wife of the, the late person and people were applauding him. Now the question is why don't we give awards? Our our, our national award don't have meaning again to some persons. No, we we, we give awards. Now. Yeah we give governors but, 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 wait, uh, governor, I was going to say something. Governors yeah. give awards. Uh, they just give it to people that win Big Brother. Uh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> the, the, uh, the value base, why would he give you an award? He will give you youth ambassador. On what ground are you youth ambassador? Or maybe member of the order of uh, Niger? 
or did, something on what grounds but how do you think that's contributing to the social menace uh, menaces that just spoke, like how is that like giving a word it's to it, people it's how is that let, let me explain driving, let me explain okay. if I, and it's 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 this simple if you do not celebrate meritocracy exactly everything else is going to fail exactly because it means you are now dumping down everybody else so i'll give you an example i think one governor in the west decided to give one huge amount to someone who participated in big brother and there was a little uproar he now had to cover up by also giving an award to the person who did the best in medicine or something <laughs> because the truth is as long as we keep promoting Eels. And we know what goes on in no offense to Big Brother, it's adults that are there and it's supposed to be adults that watch. Exactly. So, but if we keep promoting that lifestyle, what, what language do you think we're translating mm. to the young girls? Let me, let me be direct. Yeah, Wiki, Governor Wiki, on the other hand, give how much to Bonaboy? 10 million. I'm not saying you should not give them, more, but we have first class from Port Harcourt, River State. We have teach. Is he even taking care of their wife? Let's start with that one. There is somebody that graduated. There was a news that was uh, all over. There was something that was all over the news last year, if I'm not mistaken. A young man that graduated from Bias Niger Data State Niger Data University, Bias. I read physics with a first class. He got a scholarship to go and study in the UK. Guess what? Immediately after his masters, he he got enlisted into the British Air Force, the Royal Air Force. He's never coming back to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. We don't support our own. When we're in the university, you graduate with the first class. How much? How much would they even? How much value? Do, I'm not saying it's not about money per se, but you, there's no recognition. And if they try to even give you money, ridiculous five thousand or at most fifty thousand. I'm not saying it's about money, but can't we invest in intellectualism? Why must they always associate youth to all this entertainment? Youth to all this every time when they're talking about youth is entertainment. Was every you an entertainer? I'd really like to hear what uh, Victor. Victor has to say. <laughs> all right, all right. Two things. Right. First, there is a principle of um, value association and reinforcement, right? So, which is, I associate this thing to value and then I'm reinforced positively because of that. So, if I associate going to the studio, releasing a sound, shouting in the club as value, what happens is the majority is going to pursue that path because it is celebrated. And that's where the whole BBN and all this outcry, right? You know, but the second thing is really more important, which is I've said this here severally on on the advocate, the family system. That's the that's the smallest unit of a society. What we call societal menaces is a family, you know, a behavior within the family that was not controlled. So sociology begins with psychology, right? So a social problem began with you know, a simple problem yeah. that could not be caught here. So I think it's, let's go back to the family level. You know, those girls that you first saw in those places came from families. If we can fix, you know, our value system at the family level, then, I mean, subconsciously, we're going to build a better nation. So let's all be better parents. Very important. That, that's, that's, that's an amazing point, actually. Victor is next after the break. <laughs>